Panzerschreck was the popular name for the Rake 10 Panzerba 1 quarter CHSE, an 88mm calibre reusable anti tank rocket launcher developed by Nazi Germany in World War II. Another popular nickname was Offenru. The Panzerschreck was designed as a lightweight infantry anti tank weapon. The weapon was shoulder launched and fired a fin stabilized rocket with a shaped charge warhead. It was made in smaller numbers than the Panzerfaust, which was a disposable recoilless rifle firing an anti tank warhead. It was an enlarged copy of the American bazooka. However, it also used pre existing German technology with development of similar weapons beginning before the American bazooka was encountered. History The Panzerschreck was developed as a copy from captured bazookas of American origin. They were either captured in 1942 on the Eastern Front from Soviet forces that had received a shipment of bazookas or they were captured in Tunisia from American forces in February 1943. The American bazookas also spurred the development of the Faust Patron and successor Panzerfaust anti-tank grenade launchers that each also used a heat warhead. The Panzerschreck was larger and heavier than its American counterpart. The Panzerschreck had an 88mm caliber, compared to the 60mm caliber of the bazooka, which meant that it could penetrate thicker armor, but it also produced more smoke when firing. Caliber 88 mm was selected as existing RPZB. GR 43 12 for 8.8 .8 cm Rake Tenor for 43 was reused for Panzer Shrek. Warhead and fusing was carried over, but engine section needed lengthening from 490 mm to 650 mm to accommodate larger rocket motor. Rake Tenor for 43 had percussion firing, whereas for Panzer Shrek an electrical priming was selected forming standard grenade up his ZB. GR-4322. Other munitions were developed, including drill dummy, practice live rocket with inert warhead and standard grenade with improved contact system. The first model was the RPZB-43, which was 164 cm long and weighed about 9.25 kg when empty. Operators of the RPZB-43 had to wear a protective poncho and a gas mask without a filter to protect them from the heat of the backblast when the weapon was fired. In October 1943, it was succeeded by the RPZB-54, which was fitted with a blast shield to protect the operator and was heavier, weighing 11 kg empty. This was followed by the RPZB-54-1, which had an improved rocket, a shorter barrel, and a range increased to about 180 meters. Firing the RPZB generated a lot of smoke both in front and behind the weapon. Because of the weapon's tube and the smoke, the German troops nicknamed it the Offenru. This also meant that Panzerschreck teams were revealed once they fired, making them targets and, therefore, required them to shift positions after firing. This type of system also made it problematic to fire the weapon from inside closed spaces filling the room with toxic smoke and revealing the firing location immediately. The Panzerschreck could penetrate 100 mm of armor using early war rockets, and 160 mm of armor with rockets developed later in the war, for which the blast shield of the RPZB-54 was necessary. Late war German tactical doctrine called for Panzerschreck and or Panzerfaust teams to set up in staggered trenches no further than 115 meters apart. In this way, attacking armor would face anti-tank fire from multiple directions at a distance of no more than 69 meters. Anti-tank teams were instructed to aim for the thinner side or rear armor whenever possible. Allied armored units frequently attempted to add improvised protection to their tanks, for example sandbags, spare track units, logs and so on to protect against heat rounds. Most of this makeshift protection had little effect and overtaxed the vehicle's engine, transmission, and suspension systems. Another defense was to rig metal mesh and netting around the tank, resembling the German Schuh one quarter as an auxiliary plates. The Panzerschreck's combat success caused the bazooka to be completely redesigned at the close of World War II. A larger, 90mm model was adopted. Hence, the M20 Super Bazooka. Though bearing a superficial resemblance to the Panzerschreck, the M20 had greater effective range, penetrating capability, and was nearly 20% lighter than its former counterpart. 
1944, Germany provided the Panzerschreck to Finland, who used it to great effect against Soviet armor. The Finnish name for the weapon was Panzering Kuu. An all-new Finnish weapon, the 55S-55, was developed after the war along the lines of Panzerschreck. See also, shoulder-launched missile weapon, list of common World War II infantry weapons. References External links, German 88mm Panzerschreck, World War II Finnish manual on Panzerschreck.